Muguruza has stopped the point. If she's right, she's won Wimbledon. She is. Muguruza reigns at Wimbledon, a second Grand Slam title for the Spaniards. Maybe you haven't even gotten over winning Wimbledon. Are you still, are you still walking around like, yeah, I won Wimbledon? Yeah. What, is I it? do. <laughs> I'm so glad. Of course. I mean, the, you know, I was so close to years ago that it actually feels incredible to to be in that position again because I didn't know if I was going to be again. So yeah, I believe it. I carry it in my my shoulders every day. Is it so much different winning your second major than it was winning your first, winning yes. the French? Why? Yes. Because you're so much more mature now? No, it's not that I'm more mature, but, but it gives me a lot of more experience. Even though it's a short time for us, I feel like I'm a different player. You know, I went out there and I know what it feels like already. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted, I knew the difference between losing and winning. So I'm like, I don't, I, I, I want to win. What is the big difference in your game when you're winning and when you're not winning? I mean, are you always going to be a little streaky? And is that okay for you? to always be a little streaky and then bring it big. <laughs> I think that I love to be out there at big stages and uh, I'm, I consider myself as a fighter. I want to fight no matter if I'm winning or losing. So I, I try to be, you know, like this, calm. If you had a season, like for the next, I don't know, however long you want to play, 10 more years, if you can win a major every year, would that, would that be more satisfying to you than to, or how important is it for you to be number one? I'm trying to figure out what your priorities are at this stage in your young uh -huh. career. Everybody asks me this question. Everybody wants to know if I'd rather win a Grand Slam or be number one. And I'm like, listen, if I win a Grand Slam every year, I can play one more tournament if you want. You know, I, I'm fine winning, <laughs> you know, but uh, I think that it has something special holding the trophy. I don't know what it feels to be number one because I've never been, but uh, holding a Grand Slam trophy you can touch it, you know, it's ranking sometimes I feel is very temporary, you know, I can be two, 10, four. I know one is special, but I don't know. I like this feeling of winning big things. A big stage is coming up, mm -hmm. the final major of the year. How much do you like performing in New York? Well, there's something that is not working there. I know. I never, I, I, never, I never do well. I don't know what it is. I'm still figuring it out. Every year I'm like super confident. I'm like, this is going to be the year where I'm going to at least win a match. And it's not. So I want to go away, no expectation. I feel prepared. So come on. Have you tried to figure out why, why you've had some issues there? Well, the last rounds that I lost, they were tough. I didn't lose easily. You know, I fight and at the end, the other one won. But Still, I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe I'm too nervous. Last year I was very nervous and that didn't, go, that didn't help me. Sometimes it helps you, but last year very anxious and nervous to, to win and uh, didn't go my way. But uh, we, I always have something special with New York because I'm so happy when I get there and so happy when I leave, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> I'm still like. <laughs> it takes a lot out of you, that's yes, it. Yes, yes, so much, <laughs> so much. Were you nervous last year because you had won your first major and you were feeling the pressures of proving how good you are? Well, I felt like people were expecting to me at least, you know, to, to be in the last rounds. That was normal. You know, I've, it, was a, it was a bigger shock to lose and actually to win, you know? So I'm like, so it was kind of new situation for me and uh, maybe I'm better now handling that. I'm learning a little bit more. But now that you've won your second major, don't you, can't you relax a little bit? You've proven to people how good you are. We all know we've seen you play good, really amazing tennis. That's it, and that's it. There is a new queen of clay in Paris as the Spanish flag flies again, this time for the women's champion. It gives me a lot of peace, you know, knowing that, you know, I won another Grand Slam, that the work that I'm doing is it's good, it's a good job, because that gives me confidence, you know, feeling that what I'm doing is good, so keep doing the same thing. But you want more, and honestly, now it's all about the U.S. Open. The, the tour makes you this feeling, you know, I want more, uh, another tournament. So you have to also deal with that. And you must like playing on hard courts. It's, it rewards your game. 
Yes, I like it. Um, even though my biggest wins haven't been in hard court, uh, it's the surface where I, we play the most, where I you know, played when I was a little girl also, so I am happy here. Your summer has gone pretty well. Are you pretty happy with your form going into the Open? I'm pretty happy because this this swing has never been the most successful for me, and and I wanted to see how how I was gonna feeling after Wimbledon because last year was hard for me, and this year you know I wanted to right away go back on the court, four or five days of rest and go training, go play Stanford, Toronto here and uh, and shake it, you know, like go there and play. You only took off four or five days after winning Wimbledon. I did. I went to the gym and court. I'm like, you know what? I, I, there's nothing to do. I want to keep playing, you know? I'm like, okay, I've been in the couch. I've been, I went to the cinema. And went, yeah, come on, let's, let's go to the gym. Really? Yeah. I'd still be partying, <laughs> like months after. <laughs> I, yeah, I, a lot of people tell me, I'm like, why don't you, yeah, but that's how it is, I don't know. Um, when you watched Elena Ostapenko win the French Open this year, did you think to yourself, honey, your whole life is gonna change? It's very tricky. It's, nobody can tell you the feeling or how to deal with that. It's very personal, yes. you know? So no coach, not even other people that has won, they can advise you for sure, but at the end it's you and on the court and that's it, you know? I love watching Conchi with you though. I mean, Conchita does know what it's like to win Wimbledon. Yes. Yes. And she has been around for a long time. It must have been nice having her around. What's her vibe? What is, what, does she just, just because I've always seen her as just being thoughtful and pretty calm, or am I getting it wrong? No, she's very calm, and yeah. that was a good thing for me because you know I was like, I wanted to do so well, and I always want to do well in the Grand Slams, and I'm a, more like an earthquake inside. So to having her next to me, like really calm, yeah. relaxed, I'm like, how are you so relaxed? You know, I'm like, I gotta play now. You know, so she brings me this peace, which yes. is good. Who is the best woman tennis player in the world right now, or? Is it too hard to say? I don't know. There is like eight or, or 10 players that are, you know, every week having chances to become the best one, but I don't feel right now there is one that is further from the other ones, which is uh, interesting. Isn't very interesting. It's very interesting. Yes, a lot of diversity and options for everybody. Yes. Never been like this. I, I, I just asked Carolina um, Pliskova if being number one changed her, and she said no. Don't you think it would change you if you if you take the number one rank, which no. could happen? No. No. What is it with you people? But you know what? At the end tomorrow, a lot of people say, it's going to change your life when you win French Open. And I'm like, guess what? No, because I got to play next tournament, and it's even harder, you know, because everybody is like, oh, now it's going to be very easy. And no, because that doesn't make you win matches or be different. And I like the fact that winning Wimbledon didn't change anything, because I'm still the same person at, you know, I want to do it exactly the same thing, and I don't feel it's going to change me. Hopefully, no. Hopefully not. The biggest story of the 2017 tennis season, man or woman, any story, has been what? It has been a very different year. You know, we were, where we were talking before, new faces, a lot of new names, people that are winning majors that are kind of new, you know, and there's not the... You, Usually names we always have. So there is a lot of picks this, this season. It's interesting. Yeah. I interviewed you when you won the French Open. And one of the first things you said is, I can't believe Rafa has won this nine times. It's true. Now but he's I said won it the 10 same. times. I said the same to Roger in the trophy ceremony. I'm like, how? I don't know, eight times. I'm like, how do you win this thing eight times? You know, I'm like, I still, it's so hard to get there. I was like so excited to be again in the final, which you know is so difficult. And he, he has eight and ten finals. You know, I'm like, I'm what so did he impressed. Add? This is was this at the Wimbledon ball? Yes. You were talking to Roger Federer. Suddenly we start talking with the trophies in the hand, and uh, you know, and it was funny because during the French Open, I saw Rafa. We did something together, and uh, and I was like nervous. And I'm like, Rafa, you better give me advice. <laughs> and he gets like, guess what? I'm freaking nervous as well. Wow. So. You know, that's interesting because yes. it is what it is. You know, there's no secret. Everybody's in the same situation, even if they are the best. And you got to face it, and that's it. And when you said to Roger, how did you win this? How did you win Wimbledon eight times? What was well, it? He doesn't even know. He's like, I don't know. I'm just talented. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he's just, I'm just talented. It's true because I don't know. I was hoping for another answer, I think, you know, that was something it, huh? more promising, but no, no, no. Well, it's a good answer anyway. Yes. You're very talented too. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks for doing this. <laughs>